We gave you a rundown of the qualifiers and the um, points. We got the 500 sidecar overall. We'll give you that after the 350, I think. They're coming a bit fast and furious. We'll have a look down the 350 uh, list as to what the situation is. We've got any runoffs. Well, we've got three riders on five. <coughs> we go into the 350 final. The three riders we're looking out for, number 139, Jane Mears. 158, Wayne Broaders, and 511, Andy Challenger. Down the back straight, Mears is up there, Challenger's up there, Broaders is up there, so all the front runners are in front. And whoever wins this battle, if it's one of these three, is going to win it overall. It's Mears at the moment from Challenger and Broaders, then Dave Manda, and Rodney Winterburn. So we're concentrating on the leading three. Because there the three riders on five points. And Broaders coming through on the inside of his cousin. Takes up second and Broaders challenging now for the lead with Dave Mears still holding the lead. Broaders challenging it. Commander in fourth still. Winterburn in fifth. And behind Rod Winterburn, he's on his toe. It's all go down the back straight and Broaders challenges for the lead and takes the lead. So. Wayne Broaders leads, legs trailing on the bottom turn, looks a bit untidy for him, but he gets away with it. And Wayne Broaders pulling away now, and Challenger trying to get on terms with Dave Mears to make it a jump to one two. And Dave Mears not giving up yet, and Challenger not giving up, jump goes through. So, we've got a shot to one two at the moment with Dave Mears in third place, and Dave Mander in fourth place. Off the bottom turn, and again Wayne Broaders hits the bumps, but he makes it. Wayne Broaders wins, Andy Chalmers second, Dave Mears third, and in fourth place it is number 250, and that is Dave Mander, and Glyn stands and in trouble in the middle, well I didn't see what happened, but uh, Glyn's obviously took a stone or something, and uh, he's looking a little bit second hand at the moment.